rise and shine. <laughs> we are up super early, crack dawn, heading up the west coast to, uh, and then over Athers Pass to get to Christchurch to visit my family. So we have got a full action-packed adventure for you guys, and we're really excited to bring you along. We figured this is gonna be the ultimate New Zealand, South Island, West Coast tour. So, <laughs> let's go. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town. So this is one of our favorite lookouts around here. It is the top of the Crown Range, which is, uh, there's two ways to drive between Queenstown and Wanaka. Um, this is our favorite, it's got better views. Um, it's a little bit more windy and takes a little longer, but yeah, so you guys can see. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. Then if you have time on the drive, just past that view that we were at, there is a really, really cool hike just to the tippity top of this mountain. It's just really cool just because it's all tussock hills and everything like that. We don't have time to do it right now on the way to Wanaka, but we're about to do one of my favorite drives, the, what is it, the Crown Range Drive, and it is just so cool. It's all New Zealand hills and tussocks and mountains, and it's amazing. So that is where we're gonna go through right now and on our way to Wanaka. You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Monica, we are heading to the cafe called Alchemy, which has a gorgeous view over the lake, and we'll bring you guys along to see what we're doing. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty, with the wind blowing in. Mushrooms with my breakfast, so it's a, like a new thing, I guess, for me. But they didn't have my favorite uh, smoked salmon eggs Benedict, so they have hot smoked salmon and not cold smoked. So I tried something new, and I do prefer salmon eggs Benedict, but this is really good. <laughs> my God, awesome sandwich! Simple breakfast sandwich, it's cheap and it's amazing. And if you're in Wanaka, you do what people in Wanaka do. You see that Wanaka tree. So here is, uh, yeah, my chance to see it with pretty good sunlight. It's a little high, but we'll see how it goes. You make me nervous. I think I might be hooked on you. No to self. Get breakfast after I see the tree. I would have gotten the sun a little bit lower, but wow, it's still pretty spectacular. And the trees right now are in like perfect fall bloom. This is just a really, really beautiful area right now. Canceled all my plans to be with you tonight. All right, I'm glad I did that. And you guys will notice, we have our kayak with us, but haven't used it on Lake Wanaka. We're going to the Blue Pools right now, um, which is just kind of a quick 30 minute walk, but it's supposed to be really, really gorgeous. But what are we gonna use this kayak for? Keep watching. We were meant to be. All right guys, we are at a very fun part right now. We are at the neck. And this is in between, where's that? 
Lake Wanaka? Oh no, come on, come and focus. Guys, we promised Lake Wanaka's there. And what's over here? Oh no, they're both not working. No. <laughs> this way. Can you see it? <laughs> and Lake Hawaii. Yeah. You can see them both so nice when you're driving past them, but right here you really can't, which kind of stinks. But Team Wanaka or Team Hawaii? I'm Team Hawaii. I have to say. I like Hawaii too. Ooh, sorry, I like, Wanaka. I like the town Wanaka better because there's more stuff there, but Hawaii Lake is prettier, I think. To me. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. Oh, we were meant to be. Oh, we were meant to be. Oh, we were meant to be. So just sit with me, talking through the night and through the morning. Hi Naomi, do you know anything about the blue pools? Uh, they are really blue. <laughs> That's what we know about them. Let's go. of Hast Pass, I guess, the full name. That is the iconic uh, bridge, suspension bridge, and you can, which we're not gonna do today, you can jump off of the bridge into the water, which is pretty cool. But yeah, we had a really nice walk. Nikita walked the whole way, um, and yeah, it's really pretty here. So it's about a 30 minute walk, um, a little longer with this little one. Uh, but yeah, I would say well worth the trip if you're coming through here. Uh, there are bluer waters in New Zealand, um, but I think this area would be a lot prettier um, it, at like midday or afternoon because the sun is going to be shining in this um, kind of valley here, whereas right now it's shaded so you don't get as much of the blueness. Okay, now just a quick five minute drive down the road and we are at... Fantail Falls. Let's see if we can get a really cool uh, long exposure photo. So there's the waterfall. The answer is no. I cannot get a long exposure on this waterfall. I don't have the right lens. It's just too far away. So we'll see if we can find some other waterfalls. You keep on waiting, but then you came along and proved me wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you. Take all my and make them better. All right, this one's gonna be better, I can tell. This is Thunder Creek Falls, and this is just like, what, two minutes down from the last waterfall, but yeah, I think I can get closer to this one. I think that's a lot higher. Well, this is really as close as I can get to the falls. There is a river between us and there, so I can't get a good long exposure, but there is a really cool rainbow at the bottom, as you can tell right there, and it's just a gorgeous waterfall. This one's definitely worth stopping at. was changing, but with you it's so clear, and now that you're here, I see colors in every spectrum. Guess I finally learned my lesson. So on this hike, there are some cows, and that's all this little one wants to see. That's right, that's what the cow says. Yeah. So, this hike's taking a while. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. Um, it is basically a mirror lake or a perfect reflection um, and that up there I believe is Mount Cook um, and yeah just really pretty the walks gorgeous so we're gonna go to another viewpoint this is the first one so come on. yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. I feel so, so free. So guys, we made it to the view oh, of views. Alright, I didn't get those waterfall shots, but I feel like I can get a good reflection shot. 
So this lake is um, really uh, dark water because of uh, like brown tannins that are in there. Uh, so that's why it makes such a good reflection. Um, for some reason the darker water reflects really well. And that up there is Mount Cook or Aoraki and that is the tallest mountain in New Zealand. I'm a sweet baby. did it. I got a good shot. Well, just wait guys, because that last day we are going to be going to my favorite waterfall in the world. And I'm pretty sure we're going to get an epic shot with it. Well guys, we so recommend that you stop at Lake Matheson. That was amazing. It was about an hour and a half walk and man, it was just gorgeous, especially when it's a nice day like that. So we drove about 30 minutes since then and we're in the town of Franz Joseph outside of Fran. Franz Joseph Glacier, and we're just gonna grab some dinner and then go to uh, bed. And uh, yeah, we're staying in this town tonight and we're gonna grab dinner uh, here at Alice May. And we'll see how it goes. 2 a.m. in the car playing my favorite song. Turn it up, windows down, we sing along. The summer night has just begun. Good fries, or chips, as New Zealanders call them. You like them? Oh, you want a dip. Go. She will just suck the tomato sauce off. And she'll just suck the tomato sauce off and continue to dip it. You have to eat the chip. You have to eat it. You can't just keep dipping. There goes my tomato sauce. Wow, that is very good. Shredded beef cheeks with coleslaw and mayo. Super tasty. And I actually got the same thing, the, uh, yeah, the beef cheeks burger with fries and guys, yeah, this place is awesome. They set us up with this like, yeah, amazing outdoor seating with blankets and yeah, the fire and the food came so quick and yeah, very, very tasty, not too expensive. This place is highly recommended. You got a burger with fries and a glass of wine or a beer for 20 bucks, New Zealand. So that's what, I don't know, like $13 American, good deal. Was very good. I am very tempted to actually order another one, but I actually decided just to order some seafood chowder. I am a huge seafood chowder person, so yeah, super pumped to test that out. With you right next to me, so alive and tonight I'm thinking I don't wanna go. This is everything. With you right next to me. I'm alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go Wow, guys, you watched to the end. We really appreciate that. Well, that's just the end of day one. We have three other days coming up and uh, it was just too much to fit in one episode. But if you check on the top of the screen here, uh, there's gonna be the other episodes. You can click on them and watch. It has been an amazing trip. We're really excited to share this all. And if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Please subscribe. It means the world to us. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps us a lot. We really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are having a very, very blessed day and hope you're looking forward to the other episodes. I'll talk soon. Bye-bye.